starting it. I'm uh-huh. starting it, guys. It's happening. All righty. Uh, welcome to the first OSRS podcast of 2020, where we talk to RuneScape content Ooh. creators about RuneScape content. I'm one of your hosts, Mitt Maycow, followed by... What's going on, guys? Ear infection rakes here. Oh, guys, I got a fucking, I got a horrible ear infection, boys. <laughs> These two are going to have to carry this because my face, it hurts bad. Uh, yeah, and me, rice cup, you know. You guys, if you have any that liquor guy. near you, pour it up every time he talks about his ear or space, and you're not going to make it the whole podcast, man. All right, I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah. hurts to laugh, man. You don't even know. <laughs> it sucks, it dude. <laughs> I fucking hate my life right now. Oh, horrible. man. Horrible. Uh, so the last couple of weeks, where have we been? Uh, I guess we'll jump right into that. I have, uh, I've been in a twisted league. So, and Rakesy's had an ear, ear infection. I don't yeah. know for how long. Um, uh, yeah. it's, it's only been a week. I've been solo in raids and I've been dry as fuck. Ah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've been yeah, super I'm, busy in real life. Yeah, for yeah. me and Mint, it's, uh, no secret, bro. We've been sweating out twisted league literally every day. That's, that was me. I, I was playing every day like hardcore dude i've never been greasier yeah. in my life and i don't know oh, if yeah, i regret true. it or not <laughs> dude, yeah, the, like, the funniest thing is that re you said that you were only gonna do like one raid i remember you saying that yeah, before it yeah. came out. No, you're no, like i'm was, gonna complete the, one uh, raid that was the initial like uh buzz you know that like the initial drive right i was like yo all right yeah this looks kind of fun let's get into it like you know small small ambitious goal how, how many drops did you get and how many raids by the way uh i did like 200 uh regular raids solos and then i did 100 challenge mode that's so many oh my god now, yeah. how many drops did you get over 10 but you are uh, lucky yeah. fuck dude, dude I've done... did you not watch this series uh-huh. you know how lucky this man is no no i i didn't count i have been watching yeah no, Every no single video was... shit, dude. the, the thing is shit. i'm in like max gear on my account doing yeah. raids solos and i don't get a drop for over 130 KC. And then I see all these fucking scrubs in Zurian robes or whatever they're called getting purples left, right, and center. Like, oh, man. How? Yeah. How is that even. Dude, dude. I was so sorry. Right, yo, yeah. before we continue, yo, before we continue, we should. Uh, uh, so the topics we're going to talk about today, besides, you know, catch up, is uh, Ashihana release stuff and uh, what is it? Twisted uh, <laughs> The Twisted Lead feedback stuff, you know, topic related to Twisted League, like future stuff about it. There's a lot to cover. There's a lot yeah. to cover, but something our we didn't cover. Our, our story. Yeah, yeah fucking Rice Cups <laughs> RNG. Two Dragon Warhammers. Two Dragon. No, you yeah. and he's just was, like you know. I'm just dumb. not going to use him. I'm just not. That'll make a difference. Like no, he's not going to stop a, getting I, shit. I didn't use it though. At the end, I Bruh. just. Uh, I like the D claws more though. I like the D claws more. You even got the off. spider weapon. I couldn't even get the melee oh. weapon from the fucking spider, and this guy gets it early. He gets yeah, everything bro. early oh. in Twisted League. This man, yeah, no, this, uh, yeah, the RNG was phenomenal, bro. You know, some of the best I've ever seen. Fucking like, wild, it really from is. From any 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 two month period that that uh, you know, of any PVM. I mean, I did do a lot of PVM, but like, yeah, it was nuts. Did you both yeah. get the dragon rank, the highest rank? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yo, Rake yeah. Okay, you get it? think think about how I play Runescape. What rank do you think I achieved in in Twisted League? Bronze. <laughs> No, no, no! I'm talking about overall. <laughs> okay, I was in dragon. All right, so what, what was it? Oh, that? really? Yeah. A dragon is like right, the top so one second. Hundred is the top eleven. Uh, oh, I thought it was top a hundred. Okay. No, it's top one yeah, percent of the. That would have been way more impressive. Base. Yeah, it's right. top eleven hundred. I reckon that re you were probably rank. I think you were top two hundred, and mint. I imagine you were top. Thousand. <laughs> oh, bro, the got man this. fucking kills me, dude. Nah, no, 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 no. I um, I actually finished rank forty nine. So, no, really? Yeah, dude. I went Jesus. hard. Yeah, I was sweaty, buddy. Oh, it was gross. Dude. I hated it. All right, so <laughs> like the the general meta for you know competing in Twisted League uh, is through skilling, because most of your points comes from skilling, and like the milestones, like fifty mil, twenty five mil, stuff like that. Yeah. What was your, what it was your end point at like twenty eight k? Yeah, 27? it was twenty eight point um twenty eight point five. I think I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I ended at almost twenty four k, but That's like so good. I didn't do I didn't do much. I didn't like do as much skilling, obviously, because I I just spent all my time doing PVM. So if you do PVM, you you don't get as many points. Like so, I I wasn't even like 
competing for for ranks or anything. I was literally just playing the game and then, you know, bossing, and uh, I got to like twenty four k, just <clears throat> passing. Yeah, so that's, Dude, that's yeah. pretty. So, I, I'm really impressed, man. I, yeah, I'm like, I was ranked like 200. I feel like a dick. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I the only um, Twisted League videos I was really watching, to be honest, I'd occasionally watch yours, but I was mostly watching Rice Cups because he was doing solo, ah, he was doing raids, and I was as well in the main game at the time, so I was like, this motherfucker. Don't worry about it, man. I, I, yeah, so, I pretty you, much you baited right, you. Man? Did you. Did you almost match um, it? I'll let's you see. So. Close. Yeah, I, I was close. pulling like last 18 time. hour days at the last week, right? Trying yeah, to max. Yeah, and then I did the yeah, math. Yeah. And I'm like, no, there's no way. Because it was 25 yeah, hours for agility. agility and... Yeah, it's agility. I mean, I was going to do it. It just it, yeah. it didn't add up, sadly. Yo, I was so tell, angry. tell me how, yeah, tell me how in the last three days you realize how little time you have, right? Fuck, like, the first, after when you have like two weeks up, you're like, yo, we got hella time. And then. It gets to like the week, and you're like, "Oh fuck, I, I don't have much time." You start actually doing math. You're like, "All right, five days yeah, left. Shit. I got seven ninety nines." Uh, I got nervous, but I'm like, "Yo, I can only do like six challenge modes right now." It's like, "Damn, it was it was crazy, dude." Like, <laughs> I, I was literally rating t till the last like twenty minutes because yeah. I couldn't fit in another one. So I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, I'll get some skill." Teasel kills it, you know. In in uh, uh, challenge mode raids, weren't you like uh, the highest? The fastest, right, for the challenge mode raids in league? Nah, I couldn't beat people with T-bows. Like, ah, uh, dude, still, I, I, I had the fastest times without a T-bow, but you know, yeah, look at this sweaty boy, fast. dude. He's still, he's still like top five CM. That's still sick. Yeah, and no, I was, I, I was, yeah, I guess, but you know, the, that's why. Like my boy Cold One, you know, he had a T-bow and he was cl clearing times, bro. Dude, I was ranked. You could uh, do like four of those tasks, you know. I can only do one. one. I only beat one of them. So, yeah, we've had Cold One on the podcast, right? See, you, you've probably remembered him, man. Yeah, dude, I met him in real life at Ringfest, man. He's a cool like, guy. Twice. Dude, twice watch man. him play Twisted League. The man's a PVM god. Oh, my lord. Yeah, bro. Dude, I remember the days when man didn't know how to perfect, but now he's, you know, a fucking PVM legend. He was leading the pack <laughs> on uh, yeah, Twisted League. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, what, what have you been doing recently? So, you've just been uh, raiding the past three weeks? <clears throat> I know you've been Lit doing armor yeah, and losing dude, shins, but other than literally that, literally, I've been doing solo raids. Like I went yeah. so dry, man. I, I all right. I, I'll say this spoiler for my upcoming video. I did get a drop. I broke the dry streak after a hundred and was it? I think it's a hundred and six solos it's and a hundred and thirty-three raids in total. I believe started with twenty-seven. So literally, it took me pretty much two weeks to get a drop. Literally two weeks. Yeah, damn. And um, yeah, I'm sucks. still not, I'm still not done. Like, I don't want to upload the video because it's just like, I don't, yeah. I guess I could, you know. There's like a climax, but yeah, like oh, do you show your learning curve? Oh fuck me, yeah, dude, it's been insane. I've been doing. Yeah. Well, I haven't done a full no prep, but yeah, I've done nah, um partial preps of or whatever it's called. Yeah, small uh, prep. Yeah. My best time so far for solo is 26 and a half minutes. Mm, which is okay, I suppose. Good. I mean, um, you know, Price assume. is just sitting here silently judging you, man. All right. I mean, just... <laughs> yeah, no, no. So, like, it's pretty good because, like, it takes so many months or, like, even a year to, like, re get really good at it. So, oh, so, mate, I, I'm a natural, mate. First yeah, rate I no, did solo, minutes, no doubt. No, I'm kidding. But I, I yeah, think it took me, 26. I think it took me around about 20 solos to finally have a deathless raid. I, it's really funny. It's really addictive. Like, uh, I just think about solo raids all day, even though uh, I ain't making uh, fuck all money. I've actually lost money doing raids. I don't even know that was possible. I genuinely lost money. So, and I've not uploaded a video in three weeks now because mm -hmm. I'm just not. I'm just not happy with the video. To be honest with you, not enough happens. And it, like, I don't want to upload a video which is a hundred white lights, one purple. I ain't gonna throw out any spoilers, but you know, as you can probably tell from how I'm reacting right now, the purple. It's not worth <laughs> it was fucking so uh, Dude, I was so mad. You've no idea. I'm just amazing. glad that they took I'm so glad they took away the dragon throne axes and fucking dragon sword off that table. Oh my god. And I game. know, dude. I got let 12 of those back in the day. <laughs> dude, right? But I will so say stupid. this. It has been really fun and is super addictive. Like, I'm not even kidding, man. I should realistically right now be editing the video and I should just be like, I should just fling it out. But mm -hmm. I just want to do more raids, man. I yeah. literally, it's so fun. It's honestly, like, when you start to get better, like, I've been doing a lot of, um, like, small prep raids, 
where I go in with like five brews and I have two brews left at the end. And it's just like, I'm getting better at this. The times are getting quicker. You know, it's like, I don't know. It just it, Everything comes together. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Raids yeah. are huge. I mean, look at Sink's Guide, 1.2 million views on YouTube for a yeah, Raids so Guide that's so two hours long. Fuck. <laughs> two yeah. hours long guide. Most views I've ever seen in one guide. I'm just, that's That itself is uh is insane how big raids yeah. are in runescape so i, I just yeah. wish i got into them when they came out i i don't know why i didn't i was just so balls deep into pking at the time i regret it's it. all good shit though you don't want everybody doing the same content that's for sure yeah Dude, I mean, you I mean, guys got that shit why. unlocked though though you know huh. like a pk yeah i know here. you should and like you want to learn it dude like absolutely you know yeah. go for it it's not it's not that hard but i don't know I, I guess it is hard. I mean, I probably had a combined maybe just 400 raids with people under my belt. And yeah. like, I've always known Rexy... how to do it. It was just like getting it, just practicing it and putting yeah, it into yeah, like, yeah. you know, action instead of just yeah. knowing, if that makes Big, sense. Uh, the biggest thing is confidence. I mean, you're a seasoned PVMer and player. So oh. for, for you, picking it up is, you know, definitely not that yeah. hard. It seems not like as there's... Hard as a regular player. there's like a, a stigma to like uh, content creators it's like oh you got you you must know how to sell the raids you you play runescape as a job and i'm just like uh you know so every uh, time i like, try to pick know, up pvm i get roasted by my chat and i just don't want to yeah. do it anymore I, but then, it'd be the same if i try to pk you know i'd be like yo I, let me tell you i'm shit maybe <laughs> like, I'm it's, fucking PK. <laughs> it's the same with like the infernal cape it's like god it's like there's level freeze now with fire capes so i mean Fuck those if guys, dude. Fire, They're man. making us feel like shit. No, dude, they, they've done they some should. crazy stuff. <laughs> they actually they actually should. I'm not going to lie. But, like, I don't know. Whenever I'm on my account, Fat Checks, and I'm there with my spaghetti fire cape, I just look at my account, and I'm like, it literally it's looks like I've it looks like I've bought this fucking account off some gold trading website, and it said, buy this account, level 109 in combat, and I mean, plus you've gotten a free fire part, cape. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's literally like a bolt account almost. It needs the infernal caper. It's worthless. In my I'm gonna get it real <laughs> soon. I am gonna get the infernal. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You've got it before, so you can yeah. get it again. Dude, I was the fifteenth person in game to get that fucking cape, dude. That's, I isn't slave. That sick man. Yeah, Just dude. saying, you're the fifteenth person. Fifteenth. <laughs> Dude, I was literally, I was doing 12 to 16 hours a day when I went yeah, for the Infernal Cape. Yeah. And I got it, like, a few hours after it officially been a week, so my uh, my name wasn't put on the main website, which I was very God. upset about. You guys make but, me feel like I don't really like RuneScape. I mean, who the fuck can play nah, bro, RuneScape 18 hours a day in Inferno Cape? I mean, I I, I want to love RuneScape bro, that bro, much. Bro, you man. almost maxed in two months, <clears throat> my dude. Okay, uh, true, but... but yeah, I mean, your, your skilling's on point, your, you, your PKing's you on just, point. What it is, is... Right, you know, PVMing not... is maybe a little rusty. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't many, there aren't many things in this game that are truly challenging. Where it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you are no, full, no. like, think of how many things there are in this game which are quite difficult to do, but you don't have to pay full attention. Dude, like prey flicking, prey flicking at one point was really advanced, and now I'll just be doing it while talking on the phone, watching a YouTube video. It's just like I know how to do it. You know what I mean? But when you get content which is like the infernal solo and raids. I have to put my full attention into it, and I love yeah, it because I'm so just much. like, yeah, you're active, boom, you're actually this... engaged. Yeah, yeah. See, and the only the mm. only time I've ever had that outside of doing this was when I used to PvP, when I used to be like risking bank and killing somebody with like you know max mage or something, and I was fully focused. Most of the stuff in RuneScape nowadays, it, you kind of half-ass your focus. Like you know, a lot of people are like watching YouTube or streams at the same time, yeah, listening to podcasts. You, when you find <laughs> something <laughs> that is that engaging, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you find something truly engaging and difficult, like you'll just be like, I want to get better at this. Yeah. You, know? but you should try it, man. You should try solos. Oh, it's not that bad. You're right. Anytime I think of a fun challenge, though, I think of like me in the wild. Uh, you in know, I have like one AGS spec left. Oh. I'm fine, like a fallen clan, and they're just risking half yeah. HP on me the whole time. You know, that's what I think of a fun challenge. I'm like, that is actually an impossible <laughs> feat to kill someone then run away. And we talk about yeah. Inferno, I'm thinking. Long, fat grind, uh, just fucking constant clicking for like an hour and a half, 
you know, but you can't. You, it's worth it. Like, the thing is, anything that's like, you got to think, is it worth it in the long run? It turns my brain into what... jello, buddy. All right. I'm but not that's even... what this game, that's what this game's about. That's how you become a true gamer. You're not it's wrong. Just, you're, you're no longer playing the game. You are the game. It's like, you can't think to eat. You're not thinking about first. You're not thinking about vape. You're just like, I am literally going to get this cape right now. You're... And that's it. That's the only thing Yo, on your mind. I mean, honestly, we got a good dynamic, though, because <clears throat> none of us has mastery of all three, like, the aspects of this game. The elements. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, Mint, I'd say you're a pretty damn, you know, crazy skiller at this point, because I've seen your Twisted League shit. <laughs> like, PK's on point. Oh, right? PVM, you know, whatever. <laughs> Rick C, my you know, PVM, PVM, man. For the love Rick of God. like PVM and PVP, right? He really doesn't like skilling, bro. I've seen him no, try. No, fuck skilling. I've seen him try. He's di he's ditched it right. many times. You're going to get my ass laughed at <laughs> now. Yeah, Every I time mean, I go PVMing. I, I don't PVP, like, so I'm shit at that. You know what I mean? I, I Literally, the only PVP experience I have is Castle Wars. Uh, uh, no no staking, dual arena. Uh, clan wars back in the day and like trying to kill some rune or minor and free to play with my friends that that's my that's like my for my pvp experience like basically not non-existent <laughs> and i i know how to skill you know i max cape and i and i pvm all the time like see I, see we have like a perfect balance that's, that's one of us it is, is lacking it is, it is, something it, we definitely have a good dynamic yeah. and difference of people here but yeah, I think um, I don't know. It's just whatever appeals to you, right? I kind of go yeah, through yeah. phases. I, I with wouldn't force it, you know nobody to do anything specific in the game because like yeah. that's the beauty. You kind of just if, if you want to learn whatever, go and do it. You know, like nobody's stopping you but yourself, right? No, exactly. But everyone should try like everything and see what they uh, like. Yeah, yeah, if it's interesting, you should definitely you know don't hold back and give it a go, dude. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Would you be down for like a stream house in the future? Just like rent a place for a month, you know? A month and for yeah, a month. Man. Yeah, yeah man. we're gonna move to the U.S. for a month. Yo, men, <laughs> you, I don't know. Basement, dude. You guys fly to me. I'll pay for some of your ticket, dude. I have fiber. I'm sure we oh, could set dude. something up. We have a couple rooms, dude. <sighs> Yeah, dude, I'm yeah. down for that. If it's going to be like a month uh, or so. Yeah, yeah I'm dude, in. I'm completely down, man. Um, Because I need something to help me focus on streaming. And I think it's just uh, kind of like a group aspect I'm missing out on. You know, something to keep me motivated, have some fun doing it. So let me know, yeah. man. If you guys want to play in a month, fly over. I got a, a pretty nicely sized Yo, place. how about fiber. You, you pull through a room fit? Actually, no, you can't, dude. Because, you, you know, TwitchCon. Dude, I'm talking it, like it, next month or something, man. I'm talking soon. Next month? <laughs> Bro, something, man. That's I need so to get my abrupt. ass motivated, man. After Twisted League, <laughs> I'm thinking I want to come back and do something. And I'm working on a new series, but I'm just not motivated at all right now. Yeah, man. no, you feel you feeling tired, bro. Like, oh, I'm feeling like, you know what I mean? I'm feeling gross. I'm, I'm down to chill, bro. Until Ashihana, Ashihana comes up, but I'm down to chill right pack now. Pack your yeah. desktop into your suitcase. Fly on over. <laughs> we got one bed extra. Probably get another Dude, one. You better have like two, three, two other. Yeah, we get another set, something, setups. man. Yeah, yeah I'd need I'd need a PC if we were because I right. can't bring that shit over there. You can't fly a PC. You can't. You got you got like a it laptop for RuneScape. It costs a lot, man. And I'm it's... not streaming and making videos on a laptop. Hell no. <laughs> oh man, that's the one thing. Okay, well I don't it's have. So it's so hard. Fuck, man, you gotta get rich. us some battle station PCs, bro. So what? We can, like, why don't why don't you through. like message Kemp Zulu and um. <laughs> Bro, they don't even invite my ass out when we're not, when I'm at like TwitchCon, dude. They don't even invite us out to like, uh, uh, you know, Korean barbecue or something. You know, they're they're not gonna come over. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah, no, I mean, yo, know, yeah, I don't think it's logistically possible, but but yeah, that's what we've been up to, though. We've been grinding. And someone's been dry. You know, I we've been sweating. We could do a yeah. podcast every day dude, if we did that. Dude, have to. we could do a lot of shit every day, man. All right? Maybe we should get the subscribers and viewers of this video to fund it. Wouldn't that be a good <laughs> oh, idea? Oh, shit. That's, Literally, that's a lot. guys, it, I'm guessing this video would probably get maybe a 1,000 to 2,000 views. Thousand, like, think how much a dollar means to you, right? Just take that dollar. Send it to us. Every single <laughs> one of you, one dollar each, oh, and shit. there you go. It's happening. Yeah, basically, we, we we need one patron or AK Sugar Daddy of the of the. <laughs> we need one Sugar Daddy or Mama. I I know we're just fucking yeah. around about asking yeah. for money, but, but I mean, it's kind of true. It's girls, kind of true. girls online have been selling their bath water. Okay. <laughs> what what and, would we and, do, and do, do to fund this trip? It, you know, and buy it. Yeah, it's like. 
<laughs> we just three dudes want to hang out, maybe by a campfire, <laughs> all right? And we we have access to water, all right? So <laughs> that's nasty. It's okay. Don't worry that's about nasty. the water. <laughs> but um, well, you live in California, don't you? Man? No, no, I live in uh, Idaho now. I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there yeah. wait? Isn't that like? Is there anything to do there? Oh, there's so just, much. No, no, yeah, for potatoes. real. No, no, dude. I actually, <laughs> I just got um, a place near uh, near us named Boise. It's like L.A. without meth heads. Really nice. And mm. I just got a hotel for this Saturday. It's like the brewing company package. It's this huge hotel. They have like multiple bars in there, and then like uh, bar hopping and college campuses and breweries. And I'm just going to hit that up, and they should give us, like, gift cards and shit to drink with. And it's actually not even that expensive, too. So there's there's so much to do down here. It really... That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd yeah, be down so. for it, man. I'm always up to Yeah, travel, one day, but... bro. I, I promise yeah. I will visit the, the Idaho one day, you know? Yeah, you're going to love it, one man. Day. All right. You should... If we're actually being real, do it when there's a Twitch con out in America, which I think happens every year, right? In California or wherever yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 every year. I'll come out for two weeks happily, but I'd need a computer if I were to be out there for two weeks so I could do some I shit. would. Fuck, I don't. I, I don't have a, an extra one. I wish I had some people <laughs> down here who could lend something. You know. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, and, yeah. Yo, if Rakesy comes down to TwitchCon, Rice Cup, are you still going to RuneFest or? Well, I'm going to RuneFest this year, but next year I'm going to TwitchCon 100. percent Missing out, man. I'm telling you, RuneFest doesn't get better. TwitchCon does. All right. That's yeah. That's well, facts. I'll be there next year, dude. 100. percent I just you no, know, like I, you know, I miss some of the boys in Ru- at the RuneFest. I place, do. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, Yo, man, you should just come to RuneFest, man. Come on. You're always saying that you're gonna. I'm gonna go next year. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get. Like, that's exactly what you're gonna say when Re comes back. So just fucking yeah, book a ticket. The they switch they the make and TwitchCon and fucking RuneFest at the same time every year. Okay. Yeah, yeah but so you go to TwitchCon every year. But TwitchCon Miss gets better every time. year. I've never regretted it. It's always like last year we had Rice over. He was falling asleep at bars and shit. I mean, that's yeah. that's amazing. You <laughs> yeah, look yeah, over and Rice is passed up like a Bud Light in his hand. You're like, oh my god, that is adorable. No, no, it was the shots, bro. <laughs> the shots. <laughs> they didn't have shit, bro. You were just yeah, gone, dude, bro. Fuck like the shots, bro. Oh god, man. Man, man, you you, you would get that. The first thing we did. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's true. That's true. Oh, come I'm on, a bad man. Influence. Literally, to start with the bar. Yeah, um, right after we, we ate, it was like, yo, let's get some shots and then some beer. And it's like, oh my God, what the fuck? Come on, man. It's like 2 p.m., boys. Bro, like, that's just the lifestyle two, I love, man. <laughs> 2 p.m., you said. Yo, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, yo, bro, it's like 1 p.m., bro. bro. Why are we taking shots? You know, I have a whole day ahead of me. And, but, like, you know, I just do my 20 minute power naps and I wake up feeling good. But, bro, those were, yeah. you, we fucking stumbled off, bro. You were mid conversation sometimes, like, still in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the funny part. I'll, I'll have, like, a minute of lucidness during this whole ordeal and then i'll talk and then i'll, I'll knock out for like five minutes or whatever i'll wake up again but like, yo i'm good so you never know <laughs> when i'm like good, alive. Man. <laughs> he wakes up in like a different place he's like what the fuck <laughs> That's how you get. That's how you get mugged. That's how you get like just bad yeah, things no, happen. It's, it's like in a very public place. Like, Have like, you seen some of these pictures? Here's Rice drinking. We were yeah, the, the last day at the bar. This is my boy Ryan. Yeah, yeah <laughs> dude. I, we were on shit sleep too. Like, I, you know, we're fucking oh, like, yeah. I love how Ree just makes excuse, make you passed out. It's fine. You don't have to be embarrassed. It's not cool to drink, man. Like, do you know what hey, I mean? Re, but, no, no, you're no, conscious in these pictures. Like, I'm Fair just enough. describing, you know, I'm just describing the fact that, like, I literally Ugh. take 20 minute power naps and I wake up. Where's, the, where's that picture of you two where you both look high as fuck? I like, think it's down here, yeah, right here. Oh, there it oh. is. No, it's just... Uh, yeah, we're Boston, but... It was just saying, a hey. The sunlight, the sunlight. Dude, I wasn't high in that picture. Dude, we were. We got high afterwards. That's the best oh, yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's not in this picture. And we now. stumbled around and... Oh, dude, it was great, man. It was great. Yeah, yeah man. Um, yeah, all right. Let's move on to the real topic. Yeah, apologies, guys. guys. We kind of went on a tangent. Uh, we missed yeah, each yeah, other, we, man. We'll add a little timestamp anyway, so yeah. if you guys just skip here, then boom. Wait, wait. Know, wait I'm editing, bro. I got to add a timestamp now. Nah, shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, um, or, or just tell us what the time is, and then when somebody can, you know, put it down on the thing. 24 minutes. We stopped talking oh. about ass grabbing. All right. All right. Okay. Ass- <laughs> all right. Cool, cool. I see a lot of comments. Um, do you want to get into Ashihana or do you want to jump into Twisted League? Yeah, I think we'll just talk about Ashihana real quick. Okay. This is really, really quick. Uh, well, we don't know exactly when it's coming out, but judging uh, by the fact that the polls have, you know, passed quite a while ago, you know, a few weeks ago, 
And also they did uh, a little insert, a uh, mini small update in the game where, uh, wait, can you go back to the other picture? Oh, you don't want to see this? Where they already added the sleepwalkers, so it has to do with nightmares, right? It's Nightmare Ashihana. So this so. is a dungeon area where they go down? Yeah, I'm assuming, you know, you got to go under there and fight the boss or something, because, like, these guys are, like, you know, they're being controlled or something. And it's in the game now, right? These guys are already going down the stairs. So they're already teasing hard. that. So the you can go here, soon. right? This is um, uh, Yeah, I guess. We don't exactly know, but I'm assuming that would be the entrance. Okay, I didn't know if it was added into the RuneScape already, or it's going to be a new Yeah, like that, that like entrance has always been there since okay. TOB released, since the year above. But like, the NPCs are not. Those are new. They recently just added that like <clears throat> uh, a few days ago. Do, do we know what quest requirements we need for this? No, there's no like, quest requirement. Well, this is the new God. part of Mortania, right? Like this is. Well, the no, new this is already app. there. This this is already there, bro. It's yeah, but you got to do a quest to get. It's like next to Where Theater of no. Blood, right? Yeah, yeah, but there's really no quest other than just to get to Mortania, which is Priest and Pro. Okay, you know? so there's this is the area special. where you can pay oh. 10k to get in, then. Is yeah, 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 okay. yeah. There's nothing special. There's nothing special. Right, so this is just an unused area they've had for a long time. I, I still haven't Should completed it? one theater of blood. I still haven't done it. So yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I mean, whenever you feel like learning Pete, uh, all that shit, I'm Dude, down. Look at Rice you know? is always down to teach me. I'm just. Always super fucking lazy. I'm, I'm yeah. Gross. I know you down to teach me some PvP. Oh, so dude, I'm I'd take you out. You know what I mean? Night, we, uh, yeah, we return the favor. We, but... we should just go play some last. I've been playing a lot of last man standing. That shit's fun. Re, you should play it, dude. How That's yeah, a good I, way I to actually played on day one, bro. I actually how, got a win, dude. How have they not actually updated be, got a win. the fucking <laughs> shop yet for LMS? How how have you not even touched that? Mm. Like it's such a great bro, game mode. Yeah, their their PvP team need need some like you know like. Dude. Like, there, there is no mm, PvP team. I don't know, and you know, I, I was just saying, I was saying to Reed before this video because this was potentially going to be a PvP podcast. I'm yeah, going to make a video on like. I really know what to talk about no. um, besides being repeated, you know. Like, yeah, I, I, dude, thing. I got a lot of really interesting <laughs> ideas. So basically, I've came up with some really. I'm going to make a video basically talking about PvP on my main channel, right? And um, part of the video is going to be some form of a solution for PvP. Yeah, or at solutions least. Solutions are needed, bro. Yeah. As in, like. I, I don't see any point in making a video being like PvP sucks and then not giving some <laughs> really kind of like sucks. creative feedback, you know, for people yeah, to really think exactly. about. Yeah. So I, I'll probably make a video and once I make the video we can discuss it more on the podcast. I think yeah, that's yeah. probably then the best we, way to do it. Yeah, right. I think the best would be like, let's say you know, people are co confused or something leave a comment and then you can address it I guess in the podcast too. Stuff like yeah, that. that's that's a good idea. I, yeah. I think that Dude, that'd be a brilliant pitch to my YouTube when I upload the YouTube video. I'd be like, yo, any questions? Answered yeah, exactly. on the podcast. Oh, there Dude, we go. Instantly, oh, like instantly getting 500,000 views and everyone's going to come here and subscribe. And it. then those yeah. people can give us a dollar each. 500k. <laughs> Let go. Or, or we get one patron. One one sugar daddy. You were born to be a streamer, Rixie. You were born to be a streamer, man. It comes off so smooth. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Back to this topic, though, right? Well, yo, first, yeah, Rixie, if you need help saying. making that video, let me know, man. I'd love to jump on any I, PK. I, I will do, dude. Yeah, I'd love to drop my two cents in, man. Oh, yeah, dude. He, I mean, Mint's definitely got a lot to say, dude. <laughs> I've, been, I've been chambering it up ever since fucking League. I just... I've not complained about PKing for two months, man. You know how refreshing no, that is? Refreshing. That's wild. Okay, sorry. <laughs> let's get back on. Uh, yeah, so... You, you, yeah. What were you saying? So... Do you know what? One th before we move on quickly... Do it's an important question. You haven't complained about PvP because you've not played it for two months. Would you say you've missed it? No. I, I know. It's oh, weird. Jesus. I would like to go out in the wild and slap some cheeks just a little bit, but I haven't missed its aspect of streaming it, you know? Damn, dude. That's bad, man. That's it is like really a bad. sign. I know. I'd, I'd much rather stream like skilling, which is really sad. Not that I'm, you know, future. I'm not, I don't want to talk about my stream future, um, but <laughs> just haven't felt like it. It's wild. Switch things. <laughs> 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 bro jimmy came in when i was doing twitch things and i gave him a song he'll always forget he'll always remember me for that um yeah so ashihana it yeah, i think up? the first time when it came out they were talking about the new stabs and the books which we don't really need to cover because we already know what's coming into the game we yeah, talked we about, it. about it uh yeah. so here's the area it looks like they have designed it partially and yeah uh, it, progress that's pretty cool they got uh it looks like a little chess piece with a fish on top and uh, here's that mound. I don't know if it, that's the dead body of Ashihana. I'm not sure. It looks really weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, it's not super clear. Yeah, it just kind of looks like a little dungeon area, kind of like, uh, not really like Corp, but what was that boss Next. on? Next, yeah. I've never done it, but I know I know about it because people talk <laughs> about it a lot. 
Uh, and then, yeah, and other than that, this is the area where you might jump into the cave. We're not sure. It's about all they talked about, right? Yeah, they haven't said released it yet, but uh, I'm assuming it's going to be within... Uh, they're going to tell us the date. Because they always do. They usually tell us the date like a week or two prior. Dude, I'm so they glad it's not out yet. Soon. I'm so burnt, yeah. and they have not done anything after Twisted League, and I'm so happy. Even though they should have. Yeah. Dude, wh why don't you... like? If you haven't got any video ideas you don't want to do, make some money. Spend the next two weeks making money, doing whatever, and then you can literally make videos out of that, followed up by towards this and then you can just grind it out there you go Rakesy man you're brilliant i'm not even Lord. rushing it right now though this is the only thing i've done content related in the last like week and it kind of feels so refreshing you know yeah because uh, you know when you hit 100k subs you went on a little vacay right yeah i went to uh where yeah. did i go rome oh, yeah, i went I, to italy i was yeah. actually trying to plan something for vegas but I, I didn't have anybody to come down everyone was just too busy so Yo, I, I'm pax just east soon dude yeah man pax i feel soon. you there dude I'm, I'm going i'm going i'll get my plane ticket soon uh yeah i, I don't know just burnt just burnt as fuck uh so let's jump yeah, into dude. twisted league which just ended and the rewards are out and do we want to cover rewards yet, or do you want to get into the meat um, of it? Yeah, we're gonna quickly address the rewards. So, like, okay. you know, a lot of people are probably wondering, like, yo, you know, cost the uh, price of this thing is it worth selling now? You know, sell later. We we can I just mean, skip through all that and instantly say, and this won't benefit any of us in a merchant way. Those horns, whatever they're called, <laughs> they are discontinued. They are gonna be a bill in a year. So I'd put GE <laughs> offers for at least a hundred mil right now, today. Okay. Rakesy <laughs> makes that on the merch. Mil? That's <laughs> propaganda right there. It's propaganda. I mean it's semi-limited because like Dude. um you're not you can't get any more points until the next league, and who knows when that's gonna be. Rakesy, do you have RuneScape so, up right now? I don't know, but oh, I've got that. three horns on my main that I paid like yeah. 30 mil each for. You guys wanna yeah, do some I, math? We can do some math right here, man. So I got twenty eight thousand points, right? So let's just what, what? How much do the horns cost, Rakesy? You said like 6K. twenty mil, six k. They oh. they were like oh, thirty. No, no, like the points. They were like thirty mil when they first came out. We actually, they, some of them sold for fifty mil when they first went live. Yeah. So here's the deal, though. Um, before you know, uh, like we try to predict the actual prices. I'm not. I'm not really gonna like give you to you know like an, a price number because let's be honest, none of us are gonna be. Oops. Right, just because th there's no way to really predict. But um, on f on day one, right? I I would assume it's. I think it's a fair assumption to say that that a majority of the points were spent on the first day, on the horns, and and pretty much everybody. A majority of what is available, what could be possible, twisted horns wise, was dumped on that day, <clears throat> and I I think that's Ooh. why the prices were a lot cheaper than. <clears throat> Than uh, than what what a lot of people anticipate, you know, like twenty, thirty mil, yeah. whatever. Wait, how many were sold? Go down. It's quite interesting. It doesn't look like many were sold. Yeah, no, a lot. That's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Damn! Look how many were sold today. That is a, that is a discontinued item. The first but, and all. Yeah, but think about it, right? Day <laughs> one. Up, um, <laughs> day dude, one, it says one point three mil. Though. Am I crazy or is that what? What the fuck? It's just not adjust. It takes time to adjust. Okay. The, the price takes a while. Fuck! Adjust. I was hoping to get an exact price here. It's but um, it's fair to say as the time goes on, the prices will uh most likely go up because the supply is readily diminishing hard. Because, like, you can't buy anymore for a while, you know what I mean? Like, you can't get any more points, so you can't buy anymore. So, yeah, prices will definitely keep going up. And I have no idea where, where it would eventually go to. It's just, you know what? Uh, I'm going to log in right now there. and take them yeah. out the Grand Exchange yeah, yeah, let for the me... price I've got them in for and put them in for 100 mil. Hold up. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. If it's <laughs> this man's real confident. Now, I'm wondering, let's say, okay, up. let's say Twisted Horns is 25 mil, right? That's... A, I don't know. Let's just say they are. They could be cheaper. Um, and it's 6,000 points, and I got 28,000. So how... 28 divided by 6. Hey, don't make me pull up a calculator for this. Oh, no, I am, bro. I just woke up. Uh, 20, Did you say 24 divided by 6? 28 divided by 6. So that's 4.6, right? 4.6 helps times 20. So you can buy 4. So that's 116 mil. Let's just say 115. We'll clear it up. 115 mil that I could spend right now that I made on League. And I it put depends in, what they buy for, it's dude. Not that much. 
they're, they're not they were really expensive on first day but i don't yeah they're cool. probably going now that's so why i'm no, just saying no, it's no, like i think they'll go up actually i think the price will go up no i'll time. buy some now just out of curiosity and see what they buy for yeah all right they're not buying for two mil <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's not gonna go down because the, supp the supplies have diminished bro they want like, the majority of the uh, supplies got sold out they're not buying for 10 mil Ooh, yeah. they better that's be me. over that's 20 no man way. that's a lot of work I, i'll, I'll yeah. put 15 in i, I guarantee this buys now. didn't buy i haven't oh, lost yeah. loads of money oh my god i thought they were yeah, gonna this, fucking this, this, if the supply goes down it's not gonna the price won't go down it's the you know what i mean supply and demand my dude you know what i mean so they're 25 Guys, i might have made bonk off that wait hold up how much yeah. my arcane as well with this release Bro, I'm, like, I'm literally, check, check back in a month. You'll see the price <laughs> is dead, dude. In, in dude, about I'm, a month, the horns are going to be way more. I'm going to sell my arcade on Thursday for 200 oh mil. <laughs> uh, I'm going to buy an anyway, I'm I, I think that's for enough about prices, man. You know, like, like <clears throat> basically, prices will go up until uh, maybe next week. But even then, when next week comes out, there's going to be new rewards on top of old rewards. So good luck getting enough points to get everything. You know, Where, where do you everything. guys think the next Twisted League is going to be? All right, so wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that, all right, all right, I just want to put up this calculator because it's actually very. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious. So 100, we're estimating halfway. It's 150 mil. It's what I made in two months. All right. Oh, uh, you want to do your GB per hour? It's shit. Man. Okay. I'm uh, no, oh, I'm gonna divide this by 31. So 31 days. So 150 oh, mil days. by 31 days. So I made <sighs> three mil a day. That sucks, man. Concerned you put in so much more hours. That's Dude, like two that... hours of Warcraft, bro. Yeah, that's true. That. But that's, that's, two hours of Warcraft. that's so much more than I thought it would be, though. Oh, my that's Lord. That's actually not bad. That's almost like a 115 divided by 12. So I made 900K an hour playing Twisted League. Oh, that's, yeah, I mean, nah, it's nah. trash. Think, like, but in today's price, that's not, not even bad. realistic. Like, think about it. This is not the long term price. Price, I'm happy. Price. All right, I don't want to listen to you right now. I made. Uh, yeah, yeah. 900k I'm a day baby no. so i'm, I'm saying you're actually making more because you're not going to sell these horns for no the, no for you're right price like in a month the, the horns are going to be way more and then you're going to like it's going to change a lot anyways well if i was pk and i'd be about 10 yeah. mil a day so it's like yeah way different <laughs> 600 mil that i would have pk instead of like 100 mil that i would have pvm for which is wild to think about yeah. but Oh well, I, I still I, think it's quite good for like you know just yeah, you playing some random fun, game, and you're guess. you're earning a little yeah. bit of passive money. Like it's not yeah. bad. I'm not. I'm not yeah, gonna it's lie. Really not bad. I thought it'd be a lot less. That's. I'm, I'm not too yeah, like. No, the, I don't honestly, really to make money. fuck the money, dude. Like m making money at this point in time is so easy, dude. It's just like. Well, yeah, but honestly, we're all fucking huge nerds, okay? So. Well, I'm, you do you play like you do? You almost maxed on Twisted League, all right? I'm not. I said we. I said we. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, even for the average player base now, once they reach Zora, dude, money is like a joke. Yeah. After that, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah hard, no, it's, it's hard. It's hard to be about the fun, bro. It I'm, was I'm about glad the fun. it, it was wasn't hard. competitive with Zora prices, though. Even, yeah. even if I'm just glad. Yeah, man. No, it was really enjoyable, and honestly, you can't really, you know, weigh that in, in like GP. You know, so I haven't That's sweated true. this hard since like two years ago in Theater of Blood. Yeah, it was when it came out. So. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, one of the questions uh, we put down was uh, predictions for next league. Uh, well, the most popular one, the most safe one, they would they would most likely do is Mauritania and free to play. All right, so here's here's the big thing. Um, Zaya is really the only place that you could put a lead by itself because Zaya is so massive. <clears throat> uh, for the record, Zaya is like about half the size of the regular map, so that's why it can hold its own, but. Any of the non Z areas can't hold his own. Because yeah, man. They're, they're too small. But Imagine if, you if they did a wilderness play, one. If you do free to play and Mauritania, I think it would be a, a, a good <laughs> safe next one. Cause <laughs> free to play will be like, you know, your low level content. You can train about every skill there. And it'll help you build up to, you know, the content in Mauritania. Because a lot of Mauritania stuff is like mid level, high level stuff like barrels, you know, mid level ish. And then transitions into like Ashihana, you know, uh, Theater of Blood, high level PVM. And yeah, and, and honestly, Mauritania doesn't have a lot of skilling opportunities unless you want to spend 100 hours doing some subtle, you know, Swamp Letic stuff, which in a league, we don't have time for that, right? So we need actual reasonable training methods. So are you saying that free to you play expect would have. 
every if they yeah. do league again, it just be in Zaya again. No, 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 no. <laughs> because I would not want them to do Zaya every time. That would be so boring, right? But are you saying, saying that realistically, it's the only place they can do it where it makes sense? Yeah, by itself, like as its own like region. So if you want to do non Zaya, you would have to use like a combination of regions, right? So I think the next biggest one would probably be Mauritania and free to play, right? Because they're they're close, they're next to each other, so it makes it makes a lot of sense. It doesn't have to be next to each other, but like because they are, it makes it less controversial. So have that area. And then I think it'll be perfect because then there's enough skilling, there's enough content for, for PVMers, skillers, and the like. And it, it'll work out pretty well, I think. I mean, it'd be really cool if they did one like near yeah. Gold Wars. So, if they could yeah, do that. yeah, there's also that one too, like uh, Kandarin and like Audi or something. I, I think people were talking about, talk about that. But yeah, there's like different combinations. It doesn't even have to be geologically next to each other, right? It could be like one area, like elf, elf area, and like another area, like desert or something. Right, it doesn't matter. It could be like that too. That's one style, right? Where they just <clears throat> pick a pick an area or two. But there's another style though that people are talking about. From like what I gather, you know, from my streams and stuff, it's like some people are thinking about this idea where you could everyone starts in the same place, right? But but you choose which areas you want to unlock, but you can't unlock all of them, right? So you're kind of like you have to make good choices to unlock certain areas that you want. I mean, Zaya would all automatically not be allowed because that place is busted. It's way too big. So, like, everything in, in the regular game, you would choose which area, right? So, like, let's say uh, you have, like, the five relics. You can, like, every time you unlock a relic, you can choose an area to, like, unlock. Yeah. And everybody would have different combinations of areas, right? So, basically, it's just yeah. going to be RuneScape with 15 XP times and no Zaya. <laughs> well, no, 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 but you, you, know, but you unlock certain regions. You can't unlock all of them. You I can't see, unlock I see. all of them. I think I heard uh, people talking about it in one of my streams, and I told them uh, yeah. I, it seems unlikely because if they were to do that, there would definitely yeah, be, a be meta, hard to do. Right? And yeah. people would just go to the same areas. So if well, just... no, the thing is, when you start out for the first league, you would not, there wouldn't be a meta because you wouldn't know. Which areas? Would, Dep would well, be if best. it depends how much information they gave us before it happened. Yeah, they usually don't give a lot. Like, like Twist League, they didn't honestly give you much. I'd say they after didn't... like the first couple days, there probably would be a meta that sticks out. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, but the thing is, for the people competing, you've already need to make choices that you don't know about, that you're That's unsure true. about, right? That's true. Yeah. So, like, what you pick, if you pick you what you pick and you regret it, well, you're fucked. Just like how in Twist Twist League, if you chose non uh non infinite energy a lot of you guys quit <laughs> it was a bad like, time man. Fuck, i'm walking everywhere i can't i can't run you know everyone's running everyone's zipping past you and you're like yo i'm walking you know so so yeah it's like it's like the same idea right which I, areas you unlock at the start is kind of critical to whether or not you will gain an advantage or not right I, i'd be down for that i'd be down for really yeah any I, I think that one would be really difficult though but yeah yeah, so that's another much, style. I don't know how much time yeah. they have on their hands to try to map that out because I yeah, heard that yeah, they're going to yeah. make the relics all competitive next time. So it doesn't yeah. matter what build you mm -hmm. go, you could still compete for top rank. So that should uh, yeah. be really. Um, yeah, cool. I think Mauritania free to play would be the safest one because uh, you don't have to code like beyond the fact that, yeah, you know, the same way. You can code it the same way like Twisted League. So right? everywhere in free to play plus Mauritania is the next. Yes, yeah, because it would be big. Well, I hope it is because I think that would be the safest. Well, they one, did. Right? They, Someone told yeah. me they hinted at uh, Mortania on a Q and A. I don't know how. I, I don't know, bro. Correct, that is. I, I heard like, it from a couple people that they hinted at it. Okay. So yeah, I don't want to use rumors. I'm just saying this is something that a lot of people that you know talked about, and I kind of agree that it should be the next one because it's just safe. It's the safest one. It, it definitely has enough content and interest. Well, yeah, oh, I yeah, think especially with TOB and the new boss being there. Yeah, yeah. Actually. I think, I like think next one for Mortain Free to Play would be the most logical. It, it seems like Mortain has a lot going for it 2020. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. I wonder why. Uh, <laughs> but it seems like <laughs> yeah. that yeah. that's probably going to be the next area. I was. Um, I hope so. I can, people were asking me, hope. what do you want for a Twisted League? And I said, well, if I had to choose, it'd be nice. And I don't think it's going to happen. But if they completely remapped Zaya. And made it more Twisted League appropriate. Oh, my Discord just reset itself. Oh, now I'm here alone. Okay. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? 
<laughs> yeah, you do see, man. <laughs> no, no, my, my Discord completely reset itself. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna jump right back in, dude. What the hell? Nah, oh I just caught myself God. off guard now. All right, we're good. Uh, what was I saying? Yo, your camera's <laughs> shit. What's that? Yeah, uh, you got to share your. Uh... Gotcha, there you guys. Go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, what are you saying? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I cannot remember. I think I was some some sort of tangent about oh, Twisted League. I said, I said, uh, you were saying that we said if. Oh, uh, where, you, where the next one you would, be, would right? like? Yeah, where would it be? Yeah. So yeah, if they remade Zaya and kind of made it. Just a little more Twisted League appropriate, even though Zaya was a pretty sweet place, just to mix it up, you know, and, and go back, edit some areas, you know. Okay, um, I like your idea. Agility but, area, um, but... Yeah, I like your idea, but the thing is, uh, hopefully it's not bad to back. If it's something, if like, for example, let's say they're going to want to do another Twisted League V2, I would hope that they change it up a bit, like, you know, some, some like, exclusive content. I, I mean, they don't need to remap the entire area. No way, they don't have time for that. Nobody's got time for that. But like if they like for example, let's say agility, right? You said agility. Agility was so stupid. Like you oh, literally yeah. just a lot of did the agility shortcut of Winter Todd all the way to ninety nine. So that was really like just lame because that's all you had to do. That's all you could do. So maybe was that it? Was that, that the only way you could train agility? Mm -hmm. like, that, was that was the it. best way. Yeah, all the way to ninety nine. <laughs> I got up to ninety five doing that. Ninety. Yeah. So Fuck. so let's say in two years or whatever they do Twisted League V two. Let let's let's hope that some of the most neglected elements of that league gets a little sprucing up, right? Because like you can't rechange everything, right? That would that would be way too hard. So just yeah, just change some of the stuff. It's that meant to be a game mode for fun, and it almost yeah. felt like some parts of it weren't yeah. like they just weren't fun. They, yeah, some parts were us... fun, some parts were fucking shit. And the yeah. shit parts were the competitive mm -hmm. parts, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. if you didn't do yeah. it, you wouldn't compete. <laughs> Yeah, so that brings us to the point. What did you dislike about? I know Rixie's gonna. gonna be well, a yeah. Let's ask this from well, yeah, his third party perspective. What did you dislike about Lee, Rixie? Don't outside? talk about PK. Don't you dare talk about PK once. <laughs> Beat that ass. I don't think I've, I. I don't think I necessarily disliked anything about. Yeah, it. I don't think the question is appropriate was, for Rixie though, because he. Didn't it was play. just. It, I guess it just wasn't <laughs> that appealing to me. Mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's kind of how i feel that that was it it wasn't no yeah, i no, I, it. I was more really so, appealed to me i was more so trying to ask mint honestly what, what he disliked about it because like it's i want to like you want a substantial opinion for someone that played 30 plus days you know of well, yeah, yeah, so i was, you just want to know what rakesy felt because mm -hmm. um he was kind of like he was watching everybody play it, you know, and he wasn't playing it and i mean i i kind of wish that i did play it because those views you got was sick and you could upload daily, but I don't know. It just wasn't that. It wasn't that appealing. But then I didn't jump into it, and I've heard that it was really good. Like, no, I think you were busy, though. I remember we we kind of dabbled on this before. You say you were kind of busy, you know. Kind of, I have I have, know, have been focused. very busy, and yeah. I was like really focused on my series. I still am. Yeah. Yeah. But, exactly. Um, like... Yeah, I wouldn't say I disliked anything. Maybe the limitations to gear and stuff, like you know, people running around in Zeranian robes and. That's honestly People that's mistakes. what made it fun. That's one of my favorite parts. Yeah, I yeah. enjoyed that. I enjoyed that yeah, so much. Yeah. But like, man, you played thirty plus days. Okay. Which aspects didn't you like? Because you you were there. You physically grinded that shit. So, well, you, we know you don't like agility, but what else? Oh yeah. Um. So when I first played Twisted League and I jumped in, which was like 12, 15 hours after release, right? I've I didn't even know I was gonna play it. I was just running around killing chickens. I kind of got that unique feeling like i was playing dead memo for the first time like everything was different there were strats there was a need to rush right there's a need to get stuff done urgently to compete and i kind of like the feeling that whenever you do something it, it matters for a whole different other reason so you're hitting like two birds one stone every time you try to skill um but then i kind of grew to realize that if you want to compete you have to do a lot of repetitive shit it's runescape so it's like, well, duh, you got to do, but I'm telling the clue scrolls were fun for the first two days. And then the, and like 500 hards when they only have four fucking steps in the game. That's some bullshit, yeah, man. Yeah, they Twist, slack Twisted on that League one. I agree was with like, you. I agree with you. Twisted League was like clue scroll generator. That's oh, pretty yeah. much what I've heard. Like, I remember I there were so many that. people that just did clue scrolls every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like, that was crazy. I don't know. It was. 
Yeah, I I watched a couple no, okay. of them, you know. So but I, I have a suggestion on how they can improve clue scrolls next time on a restricted area. You know the one that you know the one where you have to do a puzzle box. It's the same one every single time. Why don't they freaking have some variety? Because there's three of them, right? In the hearts. Wait, really? Was it the same one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's literally uh, the there troll was, one. There was a glitch time. you could do where um, you ask for two, you drop one, you complete one, you turn it in, and the one you dropped is completed, so you just turn it next time. Uh -huh. But it's, it's so stupid. So like, uh, can we get some variety here, my dudes? It's like the same one every time. But it's like small. That's a small thing. I feel like they should probably add some more custom spots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because four spots, five spots for hard clues kind of this that's way too little dude it was like for example gross. i don't want to do a hard clue where i have to do this uh three steps at the fucking edge of the world in one clue you know what i'm saying the yeah. uh the fire one and with the leatherman shot i'm like yo I, i've been here it's i haven't even finished the clue yet i've done it three times already yeah when you do like, like elites yeah. and most of them are in the middle of the game and then one's at the soul altar Every fucking yeah, time, and you have to do that one twice in like one clue. Like, Gross. yo, what is this shit? Don't no, stop. Like, like, yeah, that's what it, we need, man. Like, some more variety. Next time, they they need to just add some more custom spots, bro, for real. Because yeah. that's that's bad when it's only. Like I saw spots. I saw a solo mission doing clues, and he made it look so fun. And personally, for the first week or <sighs> yeah, two, I was having real. a blast. Yeah, yeah. But the second month, I still had to do clues every day. <laughs> it it turned him from fun to just a repetitive process that. Like even if I yeah. saw the loot, I wouldn't even get excited anymore. So after a while, yeah. it just turned stale. Yeah, solo mission basically sold the idea of Treasure Hunter. <laughs> oh yeah, he he made me go it. It's a pretty, but it's pretty good. It's too. good for points though. It is meta for points. So people yeah. like competing high scores would actually choose that. I, I will so play different... the next Twisted League. By the way, I, oh yeah, I'm yeah. gonna commit to maybe like a week of it and see how I feel. Try it out. Uh -huh. If I really like it, I'll continue to play it. But if it's if it's like how I feel, like watching it, I probably won't stick around. But I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'll like getting 15 uh, so, times XP. You know, I might feel like a private server. Who knows? The next, the next one should be pretty good, man. The next one should. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. I think us as content creators, though, it's a bit biased for us because, like, if we already have, like, a really successful series going on, it's kind of hard to kind of just, like, get into something that's just, that's just starting like well, that, you, right? You know, Dead Man Mode, there was a oh, yeah. season where they paid people to stream it. You know, just because no one would stream it past a certain Wait, point. Really? Yeah. Was there? Yeah, yeah. Unless that was a complete lie. But I'm pretty sure. Know, but they do pay people to promote their shit sometimes on streams. Yeah. Um. So, so if they but can not have really skip content creators, is it? It's always like other content creators. Could you and stuff. <laughs> imagine if they got into like some contracts of bigger RuneScapers to try to get like almost daily uploads during league time, and they could just pay them probably not even a ton, right? Maybe. Like one or two grand a month to just upload nonstop league content. Yeah, I, right? I, I they could afford it. Well, right? But yeah. the thing is, like, the, the thing is, it's in most RuneScape content creators' best interest to do that anyway. Yeah. So Jagex sure. aren't going to pay. No, well, but, are, you know what I mean? But they could help us. <laughs> no, I'm, oh, talking, yeah, but, I'm not dude, talking as like, a RuneScaper standpoint from taking money. No, I'm talking about like, uh, just because a lot of people who did play Twisted League, they didn't really finish, which is fine. They got burnt or they just felt like it yeah, wasn't Yeah, most people working. finish about four, one month in. Yeah, right. Listen, and, and I think it's a great idea, time, man. But... Dude, if, ja if Jagex messaged me and were like, hey, Rexy, we want to pay you a grand a month to play our game, I'd be like, count me the fucking. I just don't see it happening. Like, it I've seen YouTubers so... with like a million subs playing RuneScape and it's been sponsored, like it says it in the description. Yeah. But it just doesn't make sense for a business to pay people who already play the game to play the game. Do, do you know what I mean? Well, it that's, no, that's what I'm harder. saying. I'm it's saying that's harder. what they did for Dead Memo for one month just to test it out. You, you don't think that would be somewhat successful on Twisted League? You know, especially if the next mm. one was a lot more hype. It wasn't as yeah, long. It wasn't as one... burnt out. I think yeah. the next one will be more hype because I know so many people that are like, oh, well, it's like, there is it's two reasons, right? One is like, I'm already invested in this account right now. It's like, you know, my biggest like account thing and I got to finish it before I play another account. I or hate when people other, say the that. The other one is, the other one is, oh, well, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about this game mode. So I'm going to, you know, watch it a bit. And then it's like, oh, I realized, wow, watching this, it looks so fun, but it's kind of too late for me because I didn't play the first week. So, so, so a lot of those people, I'm sorry, you got no excuses because next time you already know what's happening. 
So you coming on day one, right? So I know a lot of those guys will actually play immediately, right? They'll just play, whoa, whoa, yeah. I, I wanted to play if I messed out the first one. So ne next one, I know the date I'll be on, you know, like that type yeah. of The next idea, league so should be um, yeah. much more crazy. high. It everyone, crazy. everyone has some sort of uh, idea uh, now, yeah. Yeah, about what it's going to be. Uh, so moving I, I didn't watch any day one, by the way, so I didn't? literally have no idea. I watched all, all, all the day I know, ones. All all, all I know is that I'll be getting run energy because I hate walking, even if it's not the most efficient way of doing things, and I'll just be doing yeah, it. I don't well, care about rank. If, I what think everyone will have infinite run next time. What if they uh, don't I, add I'll, infinite I'll, run? There's a chance they might not put it in the game mode. You never well, know. Well, no, I think, I, think, I think everyone will just get it automatically as a default. Yeah, I don't time. think people will play if you have to Because I think one of the... the yeah, I think one of their biggest mistakes was making it an option rather yeah. than something that you get automatically so i think next one everyone's just gonna have infinite run and then there's gonna be a much more balanced first three i didn't get that feeling when i was playing league i was missing out because i did i i've had to pick unlimited run right because i would have just jumped off a bridge but i feel like i was missing out <laughs> on like half the gameplay because everyone had these sweet strats or yeah like honestly bro see if infinite run was automatic i think i would have chose uh um unlimited missiles you know, unlimited yeah. ammo. That would be obviously such the a different. Ones, like the fuck, I don't care about no prayer ones, but, <laughs> but like you know, unlimited ammo, bro. Oh, that's nice. That's that's why I'm that's excited what's... for next league, though. All these different yeah. things they could change about it to make the same gameplay yeah. even yeah. more refreshing in my eyes. Yeah, I have some cool ideas for. Uh, I have two two ideas for relics. Okay. I think the first one is uh, for special attacks. There's one where if you unlock it. Um, it would in, uh, it would speed up your special attack recovery twice as fast. I think that would would be a good combat one they could replace. Feels like it might need a little more than that though. You know, just I mean, dude, it's pretty strong because like if you have a DDS, bro, you spent eight times. If you can get one, you know, they might not. Like, yeah, I, I mean, it's pretty easy to get a D Dragon Dagger though in most in just about. Oh any, yeah, like... but we couldn't wield them last time on Zaya. So what if they? Oh yeah, yeah. I was also thinking of another relic, a relic okay. where it completes all your quests. So you can just wear everything. <laughs> it's like a tier two or three. You know, Dude. those are like tier two or three relics. I, um, I had an idea for a relic. All right. You get the mini map open and yeah. it costs one law rune and you just click oh. anywhere and you teleport there instantly. Just one oh, law. Oh, instant potato. Uh, yeah. That's all it is. So you don't get extra experience. You just go anywhere you want instantly with law runes. So you just Holy speed run shit. your whole fucking gameplay. I feel like there would be a fuck ton of glitches though with that oh, one. Oh, dude, totally, but <laughs> <laughs> that'd be sick, right? Yeah, one, you know, people teleporting to like God Wars and then you no clip or something. You got this guy named Jumper and he's just jump, 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 jump. You're like, God damn it. Oh, that'd be, that'd oh, be, Clue Scrolls would be a breeze, you know? But... Yeah, that'd be a little, I don't know. That one's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's like infinite run on steroids. <laughs> right. Because you run so fast, you're the flash. You go anywhere within a Another second. one, which would be cool, be like a skilling relic. What if every time you were to somehow harvest uh, an item from a resource, the second skill would follow? So if you're woodcutting, it would turn into a fire, or you could flesh it automatically. If you're fishing, it would be cooked, and you get that experience. You know, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a processing relic where it, it will automatically do something to the resources? Yeah, man, that's kind of hard because like you would have to like set it up or something. That's that, just ideas off the top of my head, or like yeah, if you're yeah. PVMing, say if you get like a um. Oh fuck, yo, <laughs> sorry, keep going. No, uh, if you no, get no, like no, a, no. a drop, yeah. like say you get like a log, it turns into fire, make it XP, you know, or something like that. But as soon as you kill the monster, so you just grind out monsters for passive skill and XP on the side. Okay, okay, so there would be some default stuff like if it's raw food, it cooks automatically. If it's yeah, stuff like that, you know? Just make yeah, it a little it's spicier. Cool. It's like, oh, I hate skilling. It's like, well, why don't you just set your ass up at AFK spot, man? That'd be your skilling. Yeah. You know? It's going to be slow, okay. but get some skills done. Yeah. Um. Damn, skilling relic changes, though. Yeah, there could be a lot of different ones, but I've only really think about, like, PVM-ish stuff. Oh, I was... Actually, I forgot um, another type of idea for a league. So, you know, I already talked about how they can just go the Zaya style and just pick, like, areas big enough to just make a, uh, another league and then there's like that other one where i was talking about how you can like unlock certain areas so like those are like the two ideas right but i have a third one i have a third idea 
Uh, so, so you know how like uh, mobs, they drop a bunch of different stuff, but it, it, it's arbitrary for the most part, right? Yeah. Like whether or not hobgoblins drop liver roots, like what the fuck? There's no lore behind that. That's just, <laughs> it's, it's just, just random, right? It's just what the yeah. JMod decided to do back in the day. What if we uh, made a league where all the miscellaneous drops from all the mobs get switched around and no, nobody knows what the fuck the mobs are going to drop except like uniques, right? It, it, obviously bandos will still b drop bandos stasis because like it would make no sense otherwise. But like stuff like cosmic runes, you know, limit roots, uh, fucking ran our seeds. The things that you think you know drop them don't do that anymore, and it's like changed all over the place. And you don't have I mean, any. If there idea. was a little yeah. more uh, of a description to that, I'd be down. Yeah. You know, just a little more detail to like um, how what, you could what, change what type it. Of detail. Uh, like, oh no, you don't change it. It's just it's just JMods do it themselves, and and it, and then when you play the league and and you're trying to like progress the game, well, the problem is you don't know what drops what, so it, it's like. Whoever that sounds makes the good. Best, yeah, whoever makes the <clears throat> I, best. I do like the sound of that. Shares the information will have an advantage. So, like, let's say you you know you're killing an obscure mod, like uh, uh I mean, a uh, obscure mod, a mob. You know, like you know those experiment rats from uh, the the quest you do to like get the dwarf no. helmet, dwarf yeah, yeah. helmet. You know those those rats, right? Nobody kills them, but what if they made it so that they it drops like crazy good shit, and only one person knew about that in the entire league for a hot minute, right? But they I, I think it. it would make it make people like explore more. Yeah, more exactly. Because like that you does wouldn't sound know. Good, you know. wouldn't know anything. And like if you're the one guy that kills a really obscure mob that nobody kills and realizes it drops like crazy good shit, but you don't tell nobody, you you be gaining think, some crazy. Think advantage. about the click belt, the click belt, yeah. clickbait the titles. Click belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that'd be a I cool like that idea. That's yeah, cool, man. People would be a little bit more adventurous and like kill stuff. Yeah, because then you have like to try that. to kill everything. You gotta kill like rock slugs. Maybe they drop nature runes or something. Speaking I don't know. about adventuring yeah. in the game mode, um, I had a really yeah. cool idea for Easter eggs. Kind of like yeah. points that don't show up when you search it, but it's the same for everybody. You just gotta go find them, right? So, say if you're exploring, you chop this one random tree that had, you know, like 50 woodcutting. You're like, oh, 100 points just because it was that tree here. And they had yeah, that they in the game, one. but I'm yeah, talking about like they hidden. Have one. Oh, hidden though, but they don't tell you the task. No, right? no, like, it's just like uh, uh, maybe okay. gives you a list of like a hundred hidden tiers, and if oh, you yeah, find cool it, you too. unlock yeah, it. Should, yeah, that'd be dope. And it yeah, can give yes. you like an area, it'd be like uh, uh, the Mine town's hidden. Yeah. yeah, like the town's hidden fucking um, Easter egg, right? And then they have the forest Easter egg, and you just go in the forest. You're like, all right, one thing in this bitch is gonna give you points, right? And then they have like a yeah, tower yeah. Easter egg. Yeah, you know, just and then if you find them all, you get extra points on top of that. Just something to make yeah, it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like, um, have you ever played Breath of the Wild? The Korok seeds, bro. You find those little dudes. They give you the seeds. <laughs> I've I've seen people play it, so I kind of yeah, know yeah. So they can it. do something like that. Like, if, for example, you mine a tree, a little like spirit comes out. It's like, hey, you found me. Congrats, take my that'd points. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. Like, shit, ah, man. That'd be cool too. Yeah. Nice. I think that would definitely enhance uh, the exploration. And, it'd it'd and make stuff. it feel um, kind of like a Pokemon game. You got to unlock. Yeah, it, dude. Oh, I would love that. I think I think that's what leagues need. More because like, it definitely could be better. I mean, dude, mod right, man, mod rexy, mod yeah. cup over here. Hire us yeah, up, dope, fly man. us over, yeah. dude. Dude, yeah, I don't know. I really... if, if I got mod, I would just mute all of the fucking bots in the G advertising YouTube. You wouldn't so, like, ban them. Went, you wouldn't ban them. <laughs> but you can if you're a mod, you just get the mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not P mod. We're talking. To, yeah, we're oh. talking about J mod, dude. What do you mean? We're talking yeah, top J -Mod, tier. J mod, bro. Dude, Making I wouldn't content. want. I, I don't think I'd want to be a J mod. I'll be yeah, completely it's just honest. People just roast me all day long. I already get roasted enough as it is. You're it, right. it wouldn't be that. I think it would just devalue everything. Like, yeah, imagine you can just spawn anymore. a Tebow on your account and use it. It'd be like, well, yeah, well, yeah you lose one. the the charm of the game because you already you make the game now, so it's different. And exactly. then enjoying yeah. a game so much that you become in, uh, you know, an area where you can actually affect the game as a whole. Now, that's how I see it. That's bad. I guess, yeah, but you'll sacrifice your like desire to play the game, though. If I so. can make Twisted League better, I'd still play on the side. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably play, but not like the same way. You know, in the same perspective. Not really. Yeah, I don't no, play um, in any perspective. That's that's a probably a bad okay. thing. Though. I mean, I, need I, to I, I just. Perspective. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like important to me that like I I still discover ideas and stuff rather than already knowing about it. True, true. I but mean, you I, like yeah, a... it's, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, I'd do anything kind of to make this game last a long time, though. You know, like I want this game to survive. So, 
I'm, let's just full reset, you know? Fuck yeah. it. Wipe <laughs> it all, bro. Yo, oh, oh, actually, there's another one that um that I thought about before. Just literally a league where it's uh 07 RuneScape, day one. Except you have Relics, right? And and TAS system. Dude, Dude that sounds cool. What if yeah, it was yeah, 2000, that's, that's ideas. That's 2006 Scape League? I don't think they have a backup for that, dude, mate. <laughs> no, 2007 is the earliest, I think. Yeah, I, I think, think that's, that's why it was back they got. So. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, um, I, I've had a couple people be like, yo, 2006 servers, Debbie Live. But a great way to bring that into the game mode would yeah, be to make a whole yeah, whole league on two, yeah. 2006 yeah, League, bro. Well, yeah, if they have the, if they have the backup, and they're like, oh, wow, I just went in the back of my fridge and I found this floppy disk here, 2006 you know or something <laughs> like that I'm like okay you just gotta find like a soul split <laughs> private server to get all the backup files for the old stuff you know just <laughs> yeah you know, like i it. think a 2007 league would be dope because um you know it'd be hella nostalgic you know what i mean oh, yeah. hella nostalgic and and also the 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 league system would spice it up so much Dude, they got and they add those little things like easter eggs like you were talking about i think that would be amazing what about a RuneScape Classic League, huh? Pull out the sleeping bags again, bro? It, dude, oh, it's not... I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I, dude, I tried, dude, I tried to play Classic for like 10 minutes, and I couldn't... I couldn't. I had to log off. I was like, yeah, bro, it's safe for me. Let's get it. <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> Iron Man Classic sleeping bag mode. Oh, yeah, so okay. Hardcore. Okay, so what do, you, what do you guys like a lot? The 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 Mauritania one, like the standard, the standard one, Mauritania free-to-play? Or you like the unlock, uh, unlockable uh, area league? Or you like the items are randomly like you know changed throughout all the mobs league or like a 2007 league i'd be down for the item change i thought that was a tier you were explaining and not like a oh no not thing a tier that's just okay like that's why i was very confused itself. if yeah. it's a league itself yeah it's fucking sick okay gotcha buddy yeah. all right i was yeah. <laughs> i was thinking that was a tier you get a tier and it just fucks up every monster drop <laughs> You're like, well, I guess I can't grind this for her. Because, like, just imagine the debates that would go on in that league. Because think about it, right? If, if let's say, the, uh, you know, there's, like, five uh, choices that people discovered, you know, along along the, the past, uh, the first three days, where they're debating on which one drops the best amount of, like, nature runes or something, right? Literally, you would have debates and, like, kind of, like, yeah, yeah, like almost arguments. I guess it can get a little toxic, but like people would just be like, "Yo, no, cows drop the best nature roots." Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, <laughs> goblins drop the best. You know what I mean? So it's just he just wants to have a debate. So He's just... different. Yeah. I don't know. I'd... It's just so cool, right? Just I would sign up for that league instantly. Would have like a little debate because no one knows for sure which one's better. And, and the thing is, you have no time. To actually figure out definitively which one. What if they did the whole game mode months. as a whole like that? What if they just added different tree spawns, different areas, and different fishing places? Yeah, they could do that too, and yeah. they could also do a little bit of that as well. I don't like, think it'll um, be too difficult to swap some. I'd imagine notes around. Rakesy knows what oh, you know. Actually, I was gonna compare it to a Nuzlocke. It's not even close. Uh, that'd yeah. just be like a randomized map in a way of RuneScape. Just oh, that could be a, another one. I, I we talked about that one too. A randomized league where well, a randomized uh, league. Are, in an area that you already know is badass though you know yeah uh, well the, the, this is the randomized resource league pretty much the one i'm talking about they can do randomized like area league where the areas are kind of like warped a bit like they're just kind of yeah. i'm just picturing like, imagine... like, being like fucking south you know instead of north <laughs> or whatever i don't know that i don't know if that would change things significantly <laughs> Maybe, imagine <laughs> walking into Mortania, right, through the little bridge, and you just see, like, some magic trees right away and a flax field for no reason, and then people uh -huh. catching sharks in the town bay, and you're like, what the fuck is this place, you know? Maybe, yeah, I mean, that'd be hard. I think that would require a lot of uh, work, but, yeah, I think that would be what do we out. pay them for, man? $11, as, baby? I, I think that's Hop as hard on. as making unlockable area one, I think. I yeah. think that one's pretty hard. We'll but, have to see what ideas they come up with in the, yeah, the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think good. item resource randomizing one is pretty hard too, because like there's yeah. so many mobs you would have to like. <clears throat> they I were mean, talking about that for Dead Man mob. mode for ages, man. It just never yeah. happens. They but kinda... I think it's really interesting. Everything you've said can somewhat be applied to like Any. updates they could have done to Dead Man. Mode. Yeah, like, yeah. Every, I mean, everything yeah. you've said could have been True. implemented into Dead Man mode. It just never was. Mm -hmm. So, but I do think, guys. Here's a question: Do you think that Twisted Meigs or Dead Mode? Which one do you think was more popular? I think 
Well, it's kind of, I don't know, bro. It's hard to say. Because... I mean, League was definitely more popular, but it lasted two months. So Yeah. So here's the, I think, I think we can compare in different aspects, right? I would say in terms of just the general player base, League was definitely more popular because guess what? You didn't have to be a PK to play, right? You didn't have to feel like you had to be able to like have some sort of skill in the game to yeah. play, right? Twisted League, like you can have the most casual. It's so casual friendly. That memo is not. That memo is viewer friendly. So I think in viewership, I think that memo was more popular because I don't think there was ever a stream in that memo. I mean, in Twisted League that pulled like 50k viewers. Except that one time Wilkes did his first ever solo raid in Twisted League. That was the only time. Well, the only time they pulled 50k viewers was would be like the last hour and they would. Jump, yeah, exactly. Right? But they it would do it every time and it was consistent. Every single time they did the, the demo final, it would be like that many people. I think in terms of people playing, League is definitely more popular. And then in terms of people watching, I think demo was more popular. I th probably. That's interesting. I'd yeah. say. I'd say League's more popular in both, except for the last part when the, the last hour yeah, is going. Yeah, because it dies down. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like, so I, I remember watching, Le uh, sorry, Dead End Mode videos, right? I always watch Rakesy's little video go around at Varrock and beat the shit out of people and whatever. And <laughs> then I'd watch Ditterbitter's video because he'd always have the corrupted weapons, you know, and he'd do the caps and his titles. He's like, oh, okay. And they, you guys did pretty well. And then you got fucking Solo Mission uploading daily for the first two weeks, pulling 100, 200k views. You got Mika, Mudkip, uh, Devious, all these uh, high YouTubers, 50, 60k on regular episodes. A friend made a comeback, right? He, right. It's like uh, the amount of views you got from YouTube alone almost counter Devin Mode's Twitch views entirely. Like, I guess. It yeah, was. I, guess. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was more responsive to like. The Twitch, though, yeah, on the Twitch side. Yeah, the Twitch side for the last hour, Dev MO, definitely. But I, you would hope I think so, because that's Twitch what it built up to. More, it, yeah, League, League wasn't as hype on Twitch. But, yeah, no, it was pretty hype, though. No, don't get me wrong. But I think Dev MO, the first one, just sp speaking the first one, because, right, we only have one League. Yeah. Yeah. So. so, But, no, I think it's both very successful, though, I would say. Like, yeah. I think League has been some of the most successful pieces of content they've ever done. It kind of, like, makes us realize that it's it's more enjoyable when things are not what you expect you know what i'm saying and there's a challenge the to less it, still, yeah. it meets your expectation in 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 like a way like a, in the in the way of discovery the more fun it is because i think that's what made this league so fun is the element of discovery the element of not feeling like you know everything and everybody kind of has to work together to like share information you know and yeah you know kind of prosper together i really like that so i think the i think the next league all the things i mentioned I, I like i think the core fundamental is that those are all meant for you to feel like you're discovering something new right do you do so, you think lee will ever come to the point where it will beat dead man mode on every front including twitch viewers <sighs> I, I mean feel like i don't they, think so i feel like pvp finales are always the most y y yeah, definitely man like but to that point, you know what if they Just made it you know, like you said, random monsters, Easter eggs. There's a bunch of shit to unlock. No yeah. one knows what they're going to see. Um, uh, those are fun. Those are great. Right? Yeah. Like, I feel like that could have a competitive edge to actually PK tournaments because of all the unknown. I mean, you can add... Oh, wait, you're saying, like... I mean, I feel like... Yeah, I mean, I think overall it's more popular than Demimo, right? Like, I think already it is more, overall more popular. But like, I'm just saying, like, do you think it hit the peaks, right, that Twitch did? Oh... Yeah, I feel like um, I don't know. That's hard, dude. Because yes. like, it's because you're skilling. You know, what I mean, how do you peak skilling? Someone getting a they, nice. They'd have to have some really creative tiers and some really creative content. But yeah, you know, I guess we'll see. I don't know. I think something about someone kicking someone's ass <laughs> at the finale is always <laughs> and losing everything. So hype, right? Yeah, I I I think there's a place for both. Yeah, imagine no, if a place for I, I think if we need they both. did a rotation of like I don't yeah. know every three months. You know, they had a month of Dead Man Mood, and then yeah. they had a month of Twisted and, League. And that's what so I want to see, bro. I don't want them to just be like, "Oh yeah, man," you know, skilling PVM all day. I hate that, bro. It's so, it just sucks, man. Because like I don't PK, but I really think we need a successful long term. I, PK I think thing. thing I know? think the Jagex are onto something here. Yeah, yeah. Like, I if hope they, they were. Are, yeah. If they get their shit together and they actually do that and they have it rotating, so one season it's going to be Twisted Leagues, the next yeah, it'll be Demo Mode or some I sort like of PvP mode, that'd be all. Like, think about the growth for the game. 
Oh, like yeah. that keeps no, I think the current audience yeah. interacted yeah. and it brings a lot of new audience, new people into the I think that's really good because it applies to everybody, right? Yeah. PVMers, skillers, PVPers. Everybody's covered. What and I want to see, well. what I want to see is in the long run, they, uh, um, you know, they have like a seasonal for PVP and a seasonal yeah. for skill and PVMing, right? I just so hope they, they make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think Demo was pretty good, like successful, but I think the one of their biggest weaknesses they, is they spammed it. They spend oh, it yeah, four they, times a year. They spend yeah, it four times a year. Up. It was just obnoxious. Like, why the fuck? I yeah. don't know, man. I, they got a was, little power trip. It was literally the same every single time as well. Yeah, like, for the most part. I, I don't think it's like, right. So you see on Twitter all the time now, like people are just like, bring back Dead Mamu. Oh, yeah. And stuff, right? I, I think because it's been a while now, it just goes to prove people have kind of forgotten like what it was like. And I don't know. I think that because there has been a big gap in time, I think that if it were to come back, it would be more enjoyable yeah. if they limit how much of it we get exactly right? if, yeah if we and, have it every because yeah, it's always ahead. i would say it's always about quality versus quantity man because they did they just try too often and it wouldn't change a whole lot you know what i mean there was not any nothing too significant that would make it better right it's just end up half of the time it ends up being a disaster that the, the changes that they do and it doesn't end up being anything better than what it was before right yeah. yeah. So instead, they should really take the time to like uh, uh, flesh out the next one, right? I think they've learned a lesson because this league, you know, and the responses to when the next league is, I think Jagex says something along the lines of, we don't want to ruin the magic, so we're not going to do it often, right? Good. I they, think they've learned. Magic got ruined because they did it four times a year. Think about it. You, you play for a month, and then you only have two months. For the ne until the next one comes out, and then the next one comes out already in two months. You're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean, yeah. nobody's got time to like, to like forget about it. You know, you're it's still you're still wired like two months later. You know, I yeah. feel like two leagues for one month, one seasonal and one demo mode tournament, and that's the whole year, right? And the leagues could be like on either side of the year. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, if they perfect. do one league and one PVP tournament s thing, I think that would be a pretty good start. Yeah, yeah. one on one. As well, it'd be good. Yeah, that'd be a good ratio, dude. I yeah, think they. I, think uh, be a good balance. I don't know if it was RuneScape, but one of the J mods, I, I saw it on Twitter. I just couldn't find it. They actually were talking about um, they were going to spoil the upcoming league, and then actually talk about Deadman mode, right? Because yeah. they were talking about future PvP tournament-based kind of content. They're like, yeah, we're going to be talking about Deadman mode as well. So I don't think they've given up on the whole idea. There, it looks like it could make a I comeback. Think I think in terms of PvP, there's there's two options that you can you can do, right? You can do the tournament or you can do the ELO system style tournament. Like you can do a seasonal tournament or you can do a you know perpetual ELO style tournament, right? Yeah. Yeah. What would they do first? Or they could do both, but I think they need to pick one for now and then try to make it good and then worry about the other one later. I'm confused. I think the ELO one's too too super far away. I think they would probably focus on the seasonal tournament. I'm just Most confused likely. why they haven't even fixed Last Man Standing yet, right? I, I and what I mean yeah. fixed, I mean make it get rid of all the fucking farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought they I thought they did that, didn't they? Ban and the bounty farmers. are they back farmers, already? I, I I don't know. I heard they're still around. I mean, I'm just the bounty talking about people. like if I'm beating ass for an hour, I want an hour's worth of beating ass GP. You know what I mean? Like if I want to win yeah. every fucking game. I better get something from that because I showed that I, I beat these people every yeah, time the top dog, for an yeah. hour. I did the best I could in a whole hour. Oh, you want to buy a Halo? <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah. I don't want no shit yeah. Halo, dude. Give me something, right? Fuck, man. Yeah. It's trash, bro. So, fuck, man. Fix that. That could be so good. It could be so good. They could have like a pure weeks and Zerker weeks and maybe even bring some randomness where they have mobs in there that drop random weapons. And yeah, oh, dude, there's so but much. Do, do you know what the problem is? A big problem with PvP is well, that realistically, <laughs> PvP is not at the top of the list, right? Because it's an issue for Jagex to deal with because the community is so split on the issue when it comes to PvP related updates. It's like it just hasn't gone anywhere. And because of that, it means that PvP is literally on the back burner. And the game's clearly doing well. It's like, you know, if the game wasn't do well, doing well, there'd be a panic and they'd be like, oh shit, we really need to push through some PvP stuff. PvP has definitely decreased in popularity over the last couple of years. 
Like old school RuneScape now is in like the meta of I would say Iron Man slash PVM, right? There isn't yeah. that much hyper popularity when it comes to PvP. Yeah, Deadman mode was hype, but that wasn't anything to do with the actual PvP that we have. Think about the laws and rules we have for the wilderness and PvP. Completely different from Deadman mode. Deadman mode was high risk, high reward. Yeah. You died, you lost everything, and you lost your stat. It was a completely different animal. But like it's on the back burner for Jagex. It's almost like, you know what? Yeah, we could probably do a fix in some PvP stuff, but nobody really has a solution. And you know what? This is working right now, so let's focus on that. That's just the reality of it. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not in everyone's it's not in the forefront of everyone's mind. You're it's just something right. which is like, we'll fix yeah, that yeah, down yeah, the line yeah, when people yeah. make enough fuss about it. I, I heard a last bad standing actually came from uh, two J mods working outside of what they were supposed to be doing. Like I, on their free time, they would work on a game of yeah. RuneScape, and it's like that's fucking amazing. I love Dude, that Mod, they would work. Mod Rock did like the entire Last Man Standing like revamp, like that's everything. Great. Dude, literally just him. And I, there might have been someone else, uh, I, but I know for a fact that he was the dev that was doing like yeah. the majority yeah. of it. One person. Yeah. Right, it's pretty shocking, really. I mean, and fair fucking play to him, like awesome bloke. I remember I was there for um, it was like a PvP meet, and we were discussing it last year at some point. A few of us content creators went up, and uh, we were talking about last month's standard, and pretty much everything that we pitched got put into it, uh, except for rewards. They were the only things that didn't make it through. Like I know that everybody that was there was just like, "What the fuck are these rewards?" Like I I remember it was such a good update, and it would have worked, but. The rewards just didn't pass. That, you, that was the thing, you know? Do you think that if they added rewards like league rewards to seasonals, it would be more more hype? And what uh, I mean by that is um, kind of like if you got like a certain total level, you get points. Like just milestones that you could hit that aren't necessarily determining the game mode, but at least you get something for playing seasonal. You think that would... That would help, or for, would for that... seasonal last man standing. Yeah, like say if you get like ninety nine flinching, you know, you get you know, just here. La- la- last man standing. You oh, sorry, get... I'm talking about demo mode seasonal. Oh, okay. Yeah, not last um, man standing. Yeah, no. I mean, probably if there was more fault put into demo mode, sure. Yeah. I expect it could have been more successful if they would have had rewards for I don't know, like most kills or something. Yeah, like that. I mean, you know I, I, mean? I think I, th- I think for that stuff. Uh, I think we should probably shouldn't. Uh, what do you call it? Like, s- spread the uh, the layer too thin or whatever. What's that saying? Like, I think <laughs> no. I think Jagex should just focus <laughs> on making one good PvP update that lasts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rather than trying to like like bounty hunter like, version two. Yeah, yeah, because like I, it's just it's not gonna work <laughs> if you Trash. if all you do is half ass a PvP update and release like five of them. What's the point? It's it doesn't matter because no one's satisfied, right? Yeah, you need, they need to focus on one good PvP update and make it yeah. good. That's, why, that's Dude, why I think it's so wild. I cannot wait like, need that to one... talk about the ideas I have for PvP. I'm going to make a video it's on my main channel. Thing, I, I want you guys to watch it and let me know what you think because I think you guys could chip in big time. But I'm on to something. Put it that way. And okay, I like good. this whole conversation. It's helping for sure. Hell yeah, man. I like that. Uh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, we probably dragged this on for a bit too long now. Yeah, uh, should we uh, yeah, wrap it? I think we should it? talk more PvP after Rixie's video. Yeah. Let's wrap it up, boys. All right. Um, Do we want to set a like goal? If anybody's watching, if anyone's nah, watching we probably, it, I don't think podcast. we really deserve a like goal because, you know, we, we haven't really deserve- delivering oh, exactly come on, man. what we, you know, <laughs> that we do. But... But yeah, man, just like the video, man, for sure. If you if you like the video, like the video, right? <laughs> Hell yeah! If, if this video yeah. gets five hundred likes, podcast every day for the next oh. two years. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, see, I'd be down, it, man. We have five hundred likes already, per vid, easy. Well, we are, yo. Like, I personally, I think, I think we can all agree that we should do a podcast when we have something good to talk about, right? Oh, More definitely. So. Yeah. It's like, yeah. man, it's hard. I feel like we can't. I feel like this type of podcast just doesn't work. If we try to be like, oh, every uh, you know, every Wednesday, every Sunday, right? I feel like we should make a podcast when there's good things to talk about. Yeah, yeah I can you know, do every Wednesday, stuff, man. Right? I got this, dude. All right. Yeah, it, we, it's, we try it's not about availability. Do. It's more about like what there is to talk about, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like, because you know, yeah, yeah, yeah we I, try, I know what you're saying. We try like we try to do the weekly thing, but to be honest with you, 
it's not it's not like we don't have the motivation you know like i'm, I'm we're banging out videos like every day every week it's just like quality over quantity you know that, that's my excuse every time but but like i think there's truth to it you know I think I we should know, always man. go for quality. If quantity. you get a, us into one fucking Discord, we always end up ranting about something, man. That's yeah, the yeah, but it's just—it's like, not always it doesn't feel meaning. Related, though, it doesn't it? feel too meaningful, though. Yeah, you know? I mean, sometimes yeah, like, I always sometimes get meaning I'm... when Racy talks about space. You know? Yeah, no, yeah. yeah I mean, like, I, I, space. like, like, it, hopefully, we can still do the weekly often. But like, sometimes we get those, you know, periods where we just don't, you know, make videos. Like, you know, this one. We have good reason though, but still, it's like I guess really don't expect the weekly format. We try, we'll try, but like it's not something we always have to aim for because there will be yeah. just ba basically if it. nothing's happened in game yeah. and we have nothing we want to talk about, there probably won't be a podcast. Yeah, yeah, but, um, yeah, exactly. If we have like a subject, it could be fucking space, it could be whatever. Then sure, why not? You know, yeah. if there's nothing else to talk about. But no, I know what you're saying, Ray, because yeah, yeah. it is. Like, you're right. Like, you know, I don't want to just upload a podcast for the sake of uploading one, which is just going over, like, an update page or something. Yeah, yeah. Or talking about the same bit. topic a billion times, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you, you're tired of us hearing, you know, saying the same shit. Like, so I want to say something that is different. <laughs> well, should yeah. we... Uh... Who, who knows, man? Maybe people just love us. That's what it is. Yeah, Maybe yeah. They a lot just of people don't care, face. but, you know. We, we as content creators, yeah, I, at least, we all have, like, some value in our products right in in our in our media so thanks to those who care man shout outs to you longest <laughs> outro ever made Alrighty, hell boys. yeah yep. take it easy boys bye guys bye bye Goodbye.